What's up guys, it's Mike. Uh, so we've had a busy summer and we are a little behind. So we want to catch you up on some of the stuff we got going on. Not Another Real Estate Show, episode four. You just have to watch. It's not another real estate show. First things first, we wanted to talk about the sausage party. Uh, one of the, our, our breakthrough events. We're doing our first pop-up, right? It's gonna be the Tell Mike Sent You Scarpelli Sausage Party. But I was nervous to bring kind of the following we had on the social media side and bring them to an event, our first event of the year, our first event ever, uh, and trying to execute and have, make sure everyone had a good time. Kudos to Ashley, the Grand Foodie, for pushing us to even uh, take the chance. First venture into pop-up events, and today we listed the, <laughs> we listed tickets for sale. We, we, we were texting back and forth, like, how many tickets do you think we're gonna sell today? She's like, 50, definitely 50. Uh, it's almost the end of the evening. It's 730. Anything can happen. We're at four tickets sold four. and one of them includes myself. So, and I remember thinking like, wow, we have a lot of money invested in this venue, sausage, supplies. And uh, if we sell 10 tickets, we're gonna lose a lot of money. So at that point, I got frantic in the promotion. We had all those things we had to do. Keep in mind, I'm a full time, full time real estate broker who just went off on his own. We're in the middle of the spring market, which is traditionally the busiest market ever. Some would argue during the COVID times and post COVID, still one of the busiest times ever. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm closing deals, I'm negotiating, I'm putting offers in while we're trying to execute this event. Um, thank God Ashley kind of took the reins, took charge. Her family was incredible. They jumped in. You know, we went to their house the night before and they were physically putting things together. Incredible the way they stepped up. You know, uh, Chris's family came in early, helped set up. The, the chaos, even though everyone, all right, Pete, get out of here. It's my dog, pizza. So everyone really stepped up. The Costco community in general, Scarpelli's, Chicken Joe's, uh, my guy, Pat Prisonzano, who came in through in the clutch with, you know, DJing. They really showed to me what that community is about. So shout out to the Costco community. Thank you to everyone who helped make it possible. I know I left people out. Um, but if you were involved in the sausage party in any form, I appreciate more than you know. I almost had a mini heart attack leading into that event. So uh, thank you for everyone keeping me calm. And if I looked a little uptight during the event or pre, that's why. We are uh, at the venue for our first ever pop-up. We Last time we checked in, I think we it was when we released the tickets. and We, we sold, sold four. Sold a big four. Shout out to whoever bought them. I got to look back. Might, we might have to give them a prize. We're at a whopping 67 tickets now. 67, which is not bad. Not First bad. event, we're going to go through the venue today and lock down some specifics and kind of give you an idea of what the feel is going to be. So we're going to transform the Greenwich Botanical Garden until the Greenwich Sausage Party <laughs> for Scarpelli Sausage, 100-year-old recipe, best sausage in Greenwich, Greenwich possibly the world. But we're gonna we're gonna hit people over the head with sausage. Yeah, that's the game plan. Sausage overload. Sausage overload. We rented out the venue here, which is basically the building directly in front of us. The grass area and the patio. And the patio. What's your favorite part? I like this lower grass area. Lower grass area is nice. So we kind of want to block this off, so that people, people don't sneak in too. Correct, because it's gonna be you know. An we need event paying customers here. Paying customers. Front entrance here. We're gonna do a little check-in action. So here. I mean, the food is the star, the sausage is the star. All the food, all the main food is out here. And then hopefully the majority of the action is outside. I'm thinking, Ash, pizza oh. oven, Chicken Joe's pizza oven maybe against this wall. I so put that good. in our little map. So we have our layout. We have the list from Costco. We have the food list. I, I hate to say it, or I, I'm afraid to say it, but I think we're in good shape. Good job, Ash. Chris, phenomenal as always. So long story short, all of the fear, hesitation, are we going to sell any tickets? The night before the event, apparently when you throw an event, people buy tickets last minute, went nuts. We sold, I think, 100 tickets leading into the last night. And I think we sold like 150 to 160 the last like four hours before the event. People were buying tickets two hours leading into the event. So then we ended up, whatever, 250, 260 tickets, whatever the hell it was. All left to do was uh, give people tremendous sausage by Scarpelli's, and this is this is a little highlight of the event.
So what most people don't know is right after the sausage party, the next morning, uh, Ashley hopped on a flight to go work for Guy Fieri, which was very cool in itself. Uh, but we didn't hear from, from her. We didn't want to bother her in her defense while she was going after this, this cool venture. But when she got back, we were really anxious to hear what happened. Here's a little clip of what she uh, experienced. No, no kids in the car, don't worry. That was me driving. The, the phone where you see my face is right where the road is. It's great filmmaking. All right. So we're FaceTime and I'm on my way to a uh, family trip to LBI. But I couldn't wait to hear the team here. Ashley is back from her. She got hired by Guy Pietti. He stole her away from us mm -hmm. to do Guy's new show, Guy's Road Trip, I think. So Ashley's going to give us a rundown on basically the experience, how she got the job, how she left us. And uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Jump in if she's even going to stay with us or take us to the curb, Chris. I'm back for now. Who knows how long though? So if you guys don't know, I literally was a customer on diners, drive-ins, and dives when they filmed at Corbo's in Stanford. Got talking to Amber, who is Guy's right-hand girl, and having no idea who she actually was. Turns out, two days later, she called me and asked me if I wanted to join them on the road. So I just got back from South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, shooting for, for 16 days hard work. I'll tell you that. It was a lot of fun. I really liked the crew members. I mean, not as much as you guys, though. I miss, I miss my people. I was going to say, did it give you a, better, a more of an appreciation for how uh, oh, definitely. casual we are? So this episode, we uh, obviously focused on sausage, which I actually made a comment to the team, and I'm like, I feel like I'm a sausage salesman this month. Um, but believe it or not, you know, 95% of my time is still working on real estate. A lot of the deals we did this month were dealing, in the months prior, were dealing with investors. So really can't show a lot of that footage. It's other people's listings. Um, it's kind of uh, private. It's things that you don't really show. Um, but we did have some good success, had some really good closings. Um, and our volume went quite a bit, uh, went up quite a bit this month, which I'm proud of. So here's our new volume to date. Excited to see uh, those investors then turn into rental listings, which is great uh, feeder system, right? You sell someone an investment property, then you have to prove why that investment property is uh, a good investment. So you gotta get a good tenant there and make the money. So that's part of the fun too. So we are uh, wrapping up summer, which is always uh, good. And then you have that last push of fall before the end of the year and things typically quiet down. Um, in the near future, we have some some exciting stuff. We're looking to expand the team a little bit. Um, not like an open casting to add real estate brokers, but uh, kind of adding some crucial skill sets to the team to round, us, round ourselves out to be able to service more people. Um, so that'll be cool. We got lots to do before the end of the year, but our one year anniversary of starting the firm is coming up. I think we did it in October, right? I think the video came out in October. So one year. We are, I can happily announce we are profitable. We made it. We were in the green, at least, or the black, tempo, temporarily, at least for now. Thank you to the team. Thank you to all of you who watch. And uh, we appreciate you sharing this crazy journey with us. Hold on tight, put your seatbelts on. We gotta, you know, I'm driving and I'm making videos.